Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is January 28th, 2022. It is 4.57 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. And this is my coping with schizophrenia blog entry for today. Normally I do a live stream, but I've decided to start doing recordings and then uploading the videos from my computer. Um, I'm doing pretty good today. Um, I did some exercise on my exercise bike. I did my physical therapy exercises because I'm experiencing severe body pain in my muscles and in my joints, my back, my neck, my shoulders, my arms, my legs, and so on. Um, I have not got an official diagnosis from my primary care doctor about what's going on. But I've been in relatively severe pain for about the past five weeks. Um, but I've been keeping up with my daily schedule, including making videos like this one. Um, next week, I have a full schedule, both medically and with my psychiatrist. I'm seeing my psychiatrist on the third. I'm seeing my primary care doctor on the fourth. I have group therapy on Tuesday, I'm meeting with my therapist on Monday, I'm seeing my urologist on the 2nd, so I have a full schedule for next week and trying to keep up with my health. I plan to ask my psychiatrist if we can try an antidepressant for my physical pain as well as my depression and anxiety. Um, the eventual goal is to get me off chronic and because it can be addictive, although I've never taken more than what's been prescribed to me, which is half a milligram up to twice a day. And I've been taking that half milligram twice a day for the past two months. Um, and I don't think my psychiatrist wants me to stop it right away. I'm going through an awful lot of stress, as so many people are in this pandemic. Um, and on top of my physical pain, this may not be the best time to try to withdraw me from Um But eventually the goal is to get me off Klonopin. Um And in doing so, me and my doctor are going to have to look for other medications to help deal with my anxiety. And some antidepressants are good for that. And some antidepressants are also good for controlling physical pain whether it's caused by things like multiple sclerosis, diabetic neuropathy, chronic fatigue syndrome, lupus, fibromyalgia. Now, I don't know if I have any of those disorders and those disorders are what's causing my physical pain. I certainly have arthritis in some of my joints, my hip, my knees. Um, so some of the pain is definitely from arthritis. I have arthritis in my upper spine. I am getting older, I'm 56 years old, I'm not 18 anymore. Physical pain is certainly a part of getting older, but I don't believe that I should have to endure physical pain that is preventable or treatable. Um, but like I said, I saw my physical therapist for the first time a couple of days ago, and I've started physical therapy at home exercise that they've assigned me to do every day, and I was also already exercising one hour a day on my exercise bike. Um, and when spring comes, I will be taking my real bike outside and riding it. I don't ride my bike during the winter. It's too cold, it's too windy, it's too snowy. It's just too much of a hassle. I see a lot of people riding their bikes in the winter. I personally don't know how they do it. I just can't do it. Um, uh, but. Uh, my physical pain today isn't all that severe. Today it's pretty much limited to my legs because I just got off the exercise bike and I have some stiffness and pain in my muscles and my joints, especially my right knee, which I think probably has arthritis, although I'm not sure because it hasn't been x-rayed. Um, my left knee was x-rayed when I fell down on the ice a couple of weeks ago and they were looking to see if I fractured or dislocated anything and I would there was no evidence of any injury beyond some inflammation. Um, but uh, 
generally speaking, I'm feeling a lot of pain in all of my joints, all of my muscles, and all of my nerves. When the pain gets really bad, it, I describe it as being like having my skin is on fire. Um, it really, really can get bad sometimes. So I'm following my physical therapy regimen. I'm taking medications for the pain, fluxidols, muscle relaxant, Tylenol for arthritis, um, and uh, Neurotin for the physical and nervous nerve pain. Um, as far as my psychiatric symptoms, they're not so bad today. Um, my hallucinations are pretty much low-key today. My delusions and paranoia are pretty much low-key. My anxiety and depression are not all that severe today, although that tends to fluctuate too from day to day. Um, I, uh, stuck to my daily schedule today, making this video, doing meditation twice a day, um, doing my work on my computer, um, exercising and making sure I do my physical therapy exercises. Um, I did have to go to the pharmacy today to pick up one of my medications, Zofran, which I take for nausea. I tend to get nauseated when my anxiety is really bad. And obviously, I can take Clonopin and Zyprexa for anxiety and psychosis. But sometimes I still get nauseated from the anxiety. And um, the Clonopin doesn't necessarily stop that from happening. And the Zofran is a way of controlling that. I'm on a long list of medications. I'm on medications for acid reflux, high blood pressure, um, stomach problems, constipation, high blood pressure several different things, and I'm on several different psychiatric medications, I mean medications for pain and muscle relaxation and things like that. Um, so today is a pretty typical day, my physical symptoms aren't that bad, my schizophrenic symptoms aren't that bad, my mood symptoms aren't that bad, my anxiety symptoms aren't that bad, um, so generally I'm just trying to get day by day, do the best I can. And uh, that's all the report for now.